Behold. There you go. So we painted this, we painted that, the guts from the other one, we put it here. Yep. You're not imagining it. Four side mirrors. These are the new ones and these are the old ones. Here's how it is. Old ones. Well, apart from the fact that the lenses are just in a bad, poor shape. Uh, the one to the right is basically not working or it doesn't fold. This one seems to be working fine. The new ones, on the other hand, they're working. Everything is fine about them. It's just the cover is in a horrible shape and I've got Moana or something. I don't know. So, Frankensteining the whole process. I'm planning to get rid of well, not get rid of, get the white covers from these and put them into the silver one. But before I do that, I need to paint them, but I still need to remove them. The only problem that I'm facing is the plug. Yep. Now, even if I manage to cut it just like what I've done in the previous videos with the Honda, it's not gonna work. So, the best way to go about it, the pen. See, all the wires are actually inside and you just need to deepen them, get every single pin out of the plastic thing and you'll end up with this one. This is the bulky item that doesn't get out. Yes, I'm using a thread needle and a plier in order to get them out. Now there is a deep pinning tool, I might actually go grab it, but for now, once you deep in it, you can fish the wire out of the whole loom and pretty much everything. I'll show you how it looks. Let me go and see if I can get a hold of deep ending tool. Honestly, you don't actually need a deep ending tool. Literally, thread needle and a set of plier will do the trick just fine. First step, you see this plastic piece? supposed to clip over here you need to remove it just unclip it from the side that way you'll have access to the wires over here now if you look closely there's two holes one at the f up one down let me just hold this one so that I can show you what I'm talking about and you may not be able to see it properly but here goes nothing you need to put the needle and, and push it in the lower hole first then the second one or vice versa because the pin itself has two clips one up one down so once you push both you'll be able to fish them out and you'll be able to get the pin easy as now i put it over here all these ones easy to remove so you don't have to worry about it and removed 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 easy so if you don't have a needle thread yeah, go get yourself a, a deepening tool. If not, this will do just fine. Why do we do that? I'll show you in a bit. Let me just clean my workbench. All right, pay attention. It should be fairly easy. This is not assembled, disassembled, I'm sorry. This one is already disassembled and ready. See, you've got three screws over here that holds the bracket to the cover. This one, this screw basically holds the actual motor into this one. Mind you, there's multiple ones. So first order of business, remove those. We've already deep end so we can fish the wire through this hole. This is just a rubber, which is just like so. And that gives you access to this one. This is something that you don't need to worry about it as now. Once you do, get flat head tiny little screw in order to unclip the glass out of it see how the glass works you've got those that clip in and over here so you just need to unclip it there you go it sits over here and it clips into this once you remove this one you'll have access to this area there's another screw hidden right there unscrew that and that gives you access to the inside. Now, in the inside, 
you need to remove this part first because there is a screw here to remove it from the base and there's another one hidden one two three as you remove those you'll be able to remove this plastic piece once you remove this plastic piece you'll have access to the remaining bolt get that out you can remove this as you remove this you'll be able to fish the whole thing out like so so this is the motor and this is the cover that we need to recover there you go this one i need to put it on the silver ones that i got but before i do so i need to clean it up and i need to paint it so far it's painted pearl white which i don't like i need to get the white one so whatever we've done over here we need to do it to the other side once this one is painted and ready then i can move on to that one and remove it at that point it'll be just a symbol simple as cool let's remove this one status update you unclip this one again with the flat head release those two once you release those two then the other one is just clip so just pull like that and it gets out easy remove those three screws that i told you about and there you go one two and basically this one as you remove them you still got another one hidden behind this one so you need to remove those three to access the last remaining one then all this goes up easy voila these are the two motors remember that one is not working yep i'll be inspecting again the rubber rubber heavy and the covers, the mirrors, and pretty much everything. We need to work on this and that. Clean, wet sand, prep for paint, paint, then clear, then install it into the new one. That's it. Once we're done, then the silver one that I got, I'm just gonna put it instead and assemble this one and sell it. At least I get to get some money out of it. But yeah, that's it. It's actually pretty easy. And now we know how to deep him, so. There's that too. Okay. Cleaned and wet sanded. And as you can clearly see, it's dull. The paint is almost dull everywhere. That basically means the surface is ready for paint. We need to work on the fender. I don't know if you can see it, but there is a debit in here. Yep, there it is. And there is another one over here and another one over there, here. Now, if I flip it to the other side, you'll be able to see it clearly. Let me, there you go. This, 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 and there's another one over here. Now, the good thing is, because I've already got the fender out, I can just use a hammer and dolly and dolly it out. So just hammer this area, and that flattens it. This is the tool that I need, and hopefully, by the end of this episode we should have it painted wishful thinking now that i just said it i know it's not gonna happen anyways hammer it down and even this one you see how it's just bent i'm gonna use the hammer and dolly and just fix it up all and fix it as close as i can ideally i prefer not to use a body filler but if i have to then i'll do it cool all right we made a discovery some more of a shady work we managed to hammer them and they're flat now and i even sanded the area so it's smooth so this is the good part again see smooth and even this one a bit of a body failure and that should solve it this is the area that we have a problem with i don't know if you remember at the beginning there was like minor surface rust so i drilled it out well and check there's rust that eaten through the meat, the metal. It's really bad. This one definitely needs treatment. So what happened is the surface was rusty. Whomever worked on it, because this has clearly been painted before, didn't prep the surface properly, just applied some uh, primer and paint all over it before they even treated this one. Now, if I leave it as is, it's gonna rust out, it's gonna eat through the whole metal. So I need to get a rust converter first that's number one number two probably fiberglass reinforcement or something and after that body filler primer and paint 
this is how it should be and mind you if you look at it this is black this is, i think a replacement oem replacement i don't know but this is really bad definitely needs to treat this one so it looks like just have a look at it all the dents repaired not only that i had to use some body filler twice mind you so i applied it once then sanded put the primer then you can see for pinholes i applied some bit more but looking at it perfect and this is the area where we repaired now it's smooth not 100 percent perfect mind you it's not 100 percent perfect i still got this area that i need to sand just a bit just to make sure that it's perfect but as for this one this is where the rust was there so here's what i've done i used vinegar into the area dipped it practically in vinegar then after that dried it rust prevention then after that primer and paint body filler blah 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 so it's actually in perfect shape now yeah, yeah see this you can see the groove here and here those areas that i need to fix up just a bit but apart from that i would say it's ready for paint not bad all right let's fix those areas and prep this one for paint behold yep new fresh paint this is just base coat i didn't apply the clear yet because you know me i always use my trusty chicago airless machine which means paint will have some imperfections just like this spot over here plus i don't know i don't know if you can see it a couple drops here and there but overall white is forgiving so in general i would say this is a pretty good job not bad now you just need quick light sand then after that apply the clear but i'm not going to focus on this one now i'm going to focus on that one because this one i think i can spray it with clear coat it does look almost perfect from all angles so clear coat on top that should solve the problem straight away anyways clear up the mess and get on with it voila clear coat painted and i used normal super g Porto clear because it's the same brand at the end of the day that's why it's working mind you i only painted this one this one still remains with the base yeah if you look under the light you can see some dents i tried my best to remove them and repair them but i can't for the life of me it might need a bit of a primer just a bit more primer and a bit more paint after we sand it but so far at least i've got a good canvas and this area is protected no more rust no more nothing so i'm happy with that anyways whilst this one's dry time to get the actual silver ones because i need to paint those areas black and that my friend should conclude this then after that we just need to assemble the mirror yep this is the old one now with the old motor with the old glasses but with the new cover which is the moana one so this one i don't need it i can sell it on ebay or something mind you remember this is the one that actually working and see i even pinned it back again exactly as it was uh the guts over there they belong to the new mirror i need to paint that part clean this part clean that part and assemble them into the new covers that they're beautifully drying these are the two lenses mind you so this is the new one i still need to gut it out just to get the motor and get everything and after that i'll just put the old one in easy those are the two old ones they're assembled pinned everything so this one is the one that didn't turn that one is working just fine with everything those are the two motors or the guts that belongs to the new machine they're there the covers 
and voila nothing beats a good fresh coat of paint once this one is dry we can assemble our mirror as for those two we can just sell them doesn't matter go behold there you go so we painted this we painted that the guts from the other one we put it here rubber e everything even the pins everything is pinned up as it should be let me check this reflection you can see right brilliant it does look like almost new and the other ones we've got one over here one over there and that's my office of course so that wasn't so hard and i'm really happy with what i've done if you like what you see stick around until next episode until then you take care of yourself yeah